So I'm using iOS 26 beta 1 from last 5 days on my this both of the devices. In fact, yesterday I Apple released iOS 26 beta 1.5. We can also call that beta 1 re-release on the iPhone 15 series and the 16 series. And this is why I think it's a perfect time to talk about how the last 5 days went. So I will be talking about the battery life and the performance i'm also going to talk about what is the difference between the ios 26 beta 1 and the ios 26 beta 1 re-released ak beta 1.5 so let's begin the video and we will start with the um, battery life so i am into the battery section over here i'm going into the battery section by the way this is the battery section i'm going to see um the last five days so it is loading as you can see and you better use it. Let's start with the this day. This is the first day when I was using iOS 26 beta 1. I used 106% as you can see. And I got 9 hours and 46 minutes screen on time. Which is really good. Quite decent. I used different apps like photos, threads, YouTube, Geekbench. Because I was running tests multiple times. The next day I used around 67%. And this time I got 5 hours, 5 minutes. This was not a good day battery dropped quickly on this day and i use whatsapp safari messages instagram and chat a gpt the next day i use 79 percent and this time it's also not that good not that bad six hours and 35 minutes during which i use imessage photos um instagram black magic cam and whatsapp moving to the next day where i use 72 percent it is again like oh, five hours and 17 minutes it's again okish not good not bad I use TikTok, Instagram messages, um, WhatsApp, and Snapchat. And the, this day, I use 71%. And this is the beta 1.5 today. And I got almost 7 hours of screen time. And this is a good one. This is, this is improved from last 3 days, as you can see. It is better one. And I use Instagram, WhatsApp, um, App Store. I was, like, downloading games. I'm trying Apple Arcade. So, you know, I was doing stuff over there. Um, if I see like a couple of days of iPhone 11, so you know, we have idea that how the iPhone 11 is performing. I will go to the view all battery usage. I used around 37 percent 37 today, and I got three hours of 15 minutes screen on time, which is quite decent, quite good. And maybe this day when I use 72 percent, I got four or 10 minutes. This was not that good. Over here, I used like around 47 percent, just one or six minute because I didn't use my phone much today I used a bit and I think it's a decent screen of time on this device too but yeah it's not as good as it should be and you know we can't expect a really good because it's just the beta one so I also want to talk about the how the Geekman score is going on on this device also on my this device so I'm just gonna you know turn on the Geekbench score um, turn on the Geekbench app over here even after the beta 1.5 re-release, there is still iOS 19, which they need to fix. Let's see what is over here. Here is also iOS 19. And let's begin. CPU benchmark, CPU history. This is the data score. 3382 on a single core, while 8564 on a multi-core. Multi-core score is higher than the average one. Single core score is also higher than the average one. In fact, multi-core score is one of the best on the iOS 26 so far. As you can see, these are also of iOS 26. And multiple score is the highest one, which is a really good sign. Which means, yes, performance is improving. If I go to the GPU benchmark, I came to 7667, which is almost equal or slightly higher than the average one. So that is also decent. In terms of iPhone 11, it was 1748 on a single core, while 4127 on a multi-core, which is higher than the average one, higher than the average one again. And the GPU benchmark is, I think, higher than the average. In fact, it is a really good one, 14076, which is way higher than the average one. So scores are on iPhone 11 are also good. Now, one thing I was noticing for the very first day, that on iPhone 11, it was performing really good. But it was like lots of bugs over here going on. But after the um, re-release of beta 1, I am seeing it is like slightly more smooth. I'm not facing that much lags. It feels more smoother to me. In fact, I also did, uh, you know, I, you know, I talk about that in my tweet over here, in my sorry thread post over here. It feels iOS 26 beta one re-release made my iPhone 
way more smoother and actually people are agreeing to that so yeah there was something with this a small little update and it actually made my phone even more smoother but still there are lots of issues that they need to fix um you, you know they need to fix the blur effect over here and a lot more stuff but i will be talking about those things in upcoming videos so this is all from um five day battery left review of ios 26 beta 1 and i hope to catch you guys in the next one until then take care peace out